Hello everybody, just doing a short review on the Wellness Core Food Wild Game Formula today. This one uh, I bought in PetSmart, it's about $91 right now. Uh, and I know a lot of customer uh, people is hesitant to try it because it's very expensive. So I'm just going to open the bag and show you um, what they look like and what was in tour to it. And I'll show you how my dog received this food. She's been on it for probably 2-3 weeks now. And I still have a quarterback left, so it's quite a dense food that lasts you quite a long time. And I'm going to open it and let you take a look. So the reason they say it's so expensive is because they have a high protein content, mostly duck, uh, wild boar, and rabbits, as you can see here. They also added in some joint chemicals, um, sort of glucitamine. They also added, you know, some antioxidant and omega-3 and stuff for skin and coat health. So they have quite a bit of good stuff in there. And when you look at the back, they widely advertise that they have no byproduct, gluten or wheat, corn, soil, artificial color, flavor, or preservatives. And that's actually the reason why I decided to try it. And my dog has been very happy on it. This particular food have no life stages. Uh, it's an all life stage food. That means puppies, adult, it doesn't matter. Senior, they can all eat the same food. Which is very similar to the theory that they have uh, recently about if a, if a dog were to hunt, the puppy would eat the same food the mother eats. So there's no point of really feeding different stages of food. So here it is. It looks like a regular pellet. And it's actually smaller than I imagine, and I'll give you a measurement as well, because I know some people are smaller breed dog, and they're concerned that they don't won't eat it. So it's measure about one centimeter, about one centimeter for the palate, and it's like a triangle shape for easy chewing, so they don't swallow it up. The feeding guide is in the back about how much you should feed. Oops, where is it? Oh, here it is at the bottom here. So as you can see, this particular food, let me zoom in for you guys, there. This particular food, um, it's recommended f for, my dog is 55 pounds, so it's recommending about three cups per day for my dog. Um, so I've been feeding with this cup and this is about one cup in this line, so I give her like one full cup. I never give her one full cup because I give her a lot of treats and do training throughout the day. So I always just give her one cup and a little over and have this room for my training in the rest of the day. So, and this is my dog latte. She's very exciting, waiting for the food. It tastes it down, leave it, okay, so as you can see, um, she's very happy with her food and she's been on it for a couple of weeks now. No diarrhea, um, no skin problem, no itching problem, no lumps or anything like that. But again, uh, keep in mind different dog does have different allergy issues. I'm not speaking for all dog with medical issues. I'm simply sp speaking for dogs that are, you know, normal and gen in generally healthy. And if you does follow the feeding guide, uh, your dog would not be overweight. As you can see, she is in very good weight. You can see her hip, but you cannot see her ribs. So that's a very good sign that your dog is in a good weight. She does send her gobble this, so it's up to you if you want to get a slow feeding bowl to slow it down a little bit. In the meantime, I, have, I don't see a problem yet. So I just left it as it is. Okay. Enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you guys find it helpful.